Hi everybody, welcome to Shoshana Rose Radio Program. I'm your host, Ann Finkelman, and today you're going to be delighted that you joined us, tuned in today. We have a very, 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 very special guest. Her name is Linda Ratcliffe, and she's a dear friend of mine, and she's been a minister of the gospel for 50 years, and I love her with all my heart. You know, God gives you sisters, and she's one of my sisters in the faith. Amen? And so if you want to reach me on Facebook, oh, Ann Finkelman, Shoshana Rose Radio Program, Ann Finkelman, Shoshana Ministries International, and we'll connect. I love to connect with those in the body of Christ. I love to connect with those that want to hear more of God. And so uh, we also are writing our first book. A lot, of you are, a lot of you are asking, and that will come out. We're believing God to come out in um, August of this year. And this taping is, is uh, February 2018. So in a few more months, you can contact me. It's a daily devotional that will set your heart ablaze with God and bring you into an intimacy with God as never before. So if you're hungry for more of God, you want that daily devotional, beloved. Remember, Ann Finkelman, Shoshana Ministries International, S-H-O-W-S-H-A-N-N-A-H, in Ministries International. And this is Shoshana Rose Radio Program, and I am your host. And without further ado, we're going to talk about miracles today. We're going to talk about this woman of God that you see sitting next to me. She has had so many miracles. Her late husband, Doyle Ratcliffe, from Tennessee, um, they were evangelists, and they traveled by faith. They traveled all over the place, and, and they saw miracles. They have what's called the gift of miracles, you know? Not everybody knows how to move in the miracle power of God, but this woman of God does. And so he went on to heaven seven years ago, and she's carrying on the evangelistic work for the Lord Jesus, and she loves God with all her heart. So without further ado, we're going to talk about miracles. Get your pad and pencil. We're going to read the scripture, and then we're going to see the Holy Spirit in action. We're going to find out how he operates to anyone that will believe him, beloved of God. So, Linda, I welcome you to Shoshana Rose Radio Program, and you look beautiful as ever. And I'm so proud of you that even though Doyle has gone on to heaven, he's moved to heaven, yes. you are carrying on the work of the evangelists. Winning souls for God, getting people Amen. baptized in the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. That's that's her gifting as well. And you're carrying on with the miracles of God. <clears throat> and and your ministry is just exploding. Testimony Praise time. God. We had Praise a day, God. we had a meeting the other evening, and she testified for two hours straight, nonstop, about the miracle power of God. And so we're going to talk about that today. So say hi to my audience. Hello. I'm glad to be here with you, Anne, today. I'm glad I to love have Anne. You. I love her ministry. <clears throat> so uh, I just thought, how did this start? Well, first of all, it started when I uh, read in the Bible, after that the Holy Ghost came upon them, they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Okay. And that's for the church. And today. I said to my husband, we don't do that back You're, in that day. When he, before he went yeah, to heaven. Yes, a long time ago. Oh, yeah. And so, anyway, I started praying, and, and most of you would not know what a brush harbor is, but that's where you go out in the country. And I was raised in the country, born in the country, born at home. Canning goods, nine, picking apples. Nine kids, and I was the youngest. So, anyway... Yeah, we canned everything, Ann. We, we, uh, she taught me how to can. <laughs> she taught me how to pick apples. A New York City girl taught me how to pick apples off the tree and then come home and make homemade applesauce with cinnamon. Oh, yeah. Country girl. Yeah. <clears throat> and so we, we went over there, uh, or they built a brush harbor. Yeah. Uh, this young evangelist. They were uh, uh, three. Yeah. Uh, uh, evangelist. Explain what a brush harbor is for oh, I was going to, yeah. Yeah. And uh, anyway, it's just where you go out in the woods and, and you, you cut down little bitty trees and little branches and you put up on top and you make you a shelter over you and, and then you go in there and you run your light from somewhere mm -hmm. if you can find a house close enough. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's how that it all began and they, they taught me about the Holy Ghost and I got mm -hmm. the... Holy Ghost in the Brush Harbor. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we started seeing miracles. Just uh, uh, like Ann said, uh, 
just all kinds of miracles and mm -hmm. and <clears throat> I now sitting down or, or up before somebody you know mm -hmm. I know we're live and all that here we're on, we're on yeah Shoshana Rose radio yeah. program but uh, she's talking about the moving of God's spirit required in the brush harbor with a little lantern and the power of God just came in poof, and the fire of God came in everybody started praying in tongues like in the book of Acts yeah <clears throat> and that's what that happened to me. And uh, first of all, and whenever I got the Holy Ghost, my, the devil comes on my husband and says, it's not real because the people are telling him, if you take her over there to that bab the Baptist said, if, it, which I was Baptist, I'm not knocking Baptist, not, but, I, but there is more people. There's more, but, but they told me that I had it all in, in, to not go over there, but yet they told my husband, if you go take her over there, she's going to get this Holy Ghost like it was a bad thing. So anyway, uh, I did. I went, and I, I really received that. Mm -hmm. So praise God. And uh, and you've never been the same since. Oh, my God. It changed my life. Many years ago. Yeah, and but it didn't last long because uh, my husband, <clears throat> when I read to him, one night, I was just reading the Bible, mm -hmm. and it said after that, the Holy Ghost came upon them. They spoke in tongues and mm -hmm. prophesied. I said, we don't do that. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, well, is it is it done away with? Uh, is it for now? And then I opened the Bible, and it said, in the last days, saith God, I'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh. All flesh. And your sons and daughters will prophesy and dream dreams. And so, but all my life, even before I was saved, uh, I got saved when I was 25, but before I got saved, uh, what was I going to tell? My mind gets going crazy. I because start, she has I start getting down, so down, many downloads, downloads. I get trails before, before, <laughs> before, before you were saved. Uh, uh, before you married. You married. I, yeah, before I was saved, I had dreams that come to pass, just like, uh, just like the Lord was would even talk to me and say somebody's name or something he told me my husband's name and uh, he would speak his name and and uh, it would actually make me mad I was just a kid playing you know yeah and uh, so we're going to talk about the gifts of the spirits and now the Holy Spirit's leading us this what hasn't been rehearsed no. precious audience we're going to talk about the gifts of the spirit and then we're going to talk about how you who are hungry for more of God we're going to pray for you to move in the gifts of the Spirit to be a blessing to other people. The gifts yeah. of the Spirit are not for us, beloved. The gifts of the Spirit are to, to be a witness and for, to, others. To, for others, to help others. And, yeah. they, and they move, we move in the gifts of the Spirit as we're obedient, to who, as the Spirit wills, mm -hmm. and we yield ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So let me read before we go on, and I want you to share so many miracles you've had. And I was raised from the dead. I drowned in, uh, in a river in Tennessee <coughs> many years ago. The spirit came out of my body, and I saw my dead body with my helmet on in the white uh, water rafting, and I was like that, in the water, dead. I got caught in the sinkhole. I got caught in the suction pot underneath the mountain, and God raised me up from the dead. I, I gave up the ghost. I began to go up, and I come out of my body. And so this woman has a testimony of the same, and I want her to share it, okay? Because miracles are real today. They're real. The Holy Spirit is real. We're in the book of Acts. We're in the Praise book of God. Acts. We're in the book of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. We are in the book of Acts. The church is in the book of Acts. And we're in the last days, beloved. Yeah. And we have power and authority over yes, all the power of the enemy. enemy. And the Holy Spirit is real. <clears throat> you know, it's time to wake up. Wake up. Wake up, the sleeping giant. And so 1 yes. Corinthians chapter 12, Linda. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want us to be ignorant. He wants us to, to know about his word, precious yes. uh, audience. Mm -hmm. You know that you were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as you were led. So if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Now I'm a Messianic minister. So now there's one new man, Ephesians 2.14. The, the petition has been broken down and we are now one new man, Jew and Gentile together. And so... Wherefore, I give unto you to understand that no man speaks by the Spirit of God, calls Jesus accursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is Lord, but by the Holy Ghost. Do you call Jesus Lord today? 
I believe you do. If not, we're going to give you give you a, a, a moment to accept the Lord and change your life, beloved of God. And 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. Different gifts we're going yes, to talk about. Yeah, yeah. And they can they have gifts themselves, yes. the precious people yes, that are watching. Yes, yes. And there are differences of administrations, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with yes. all. So every, if you're born again, Spirit-filled believer, you have the gifts of the Spirit operating in you. Mm -hmm. They can operate in miracles. Yes, they yes, can operate yes. in tongues, interpretation, Just and have prophecy. Faith. Hallelujah. Just have faith. Because mm -hmm. you were, you were um, a younger woman, and you didn't know anything about anything. And God began to move through you. And through relationship with Jesus, she began to yield herself. And God began to do miracles through her. <clears throat> and he's still doing miracles through her, beloved. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles. Yes. We're going we're to talk about all the giftings today of the Holy yes. Spirit. To another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. But all, if I say all, uh -huh. all, but all these work that one and the self-same spirit dividing to every man yes. severally as he will. Mm -hmm. For as the body is one and has many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body, so also is Christ. And it says, for well, we, are, we are one spirit all we are baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit, for the body is not one member, but many. And so can the foot say, I don't need you? Can the hand say, I don't need you? Can the, can the eye say that I don't need you, ear? No, the ear needs you. The um, the ear needs the ear needs the eye. The, the head needs the body. The fingers need the arm. You know the hip bone connected to the joint bone. The spine's connected to everything's connected. And so when the body is when the body is um, uh, put together by God in in our mother's womb, all of our members were being put together. Jesus said in Psalm 137, 130, uh, 30, uh, 39, I believe it is. All of our members were put together. Okay into one into this one body and so we are we are one body he's the head and we are the body and every one of you can move in the gifts of the spirit yes, yes. so there's three types of gifts and then i'm going to turn it over to this miracle walking woman through the power of god because god has saved her life and god has given her near-death experiences and she came out of her body and we're going to talk about that and so the word of wisdom word of knowledge and gift of discerning is spirits okay that is, those are the revelation gifts in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. We just read it. Then we have the power gifts, gifts of healing, gifts working of miracles, and uh, gift of faith, okay? And then we have, then we have the third, and those are the power gifts, okay? They do something. Then we have tongues interpretation and then prophecy. And so these are given to every man. Are you saved? Do you love God? They can operate in these gifts, Linda. Yes, yes. And, and all they have to do is yield, and that's what we're going to talk don't. about today. I want you to share, woman of God, about yielding, because that's how you learn. Teach them how they can yield and how they can move in these gifts and how they could be a blessing to others. Are you talking them. about the way I tell them? <laughs> the way you tell them? Just have at it, girl. Oh, Lord. Well, so many don't believe, you know, the way God uses me. Uh, but you know what? I, I've different. been doing this for years and years and years. It's and the power of God is there, and uh, it's true. Yeah. And just because they don't believe doesn't mean it's real. Be, it's it isn't real, beloved. Well, well, it, it starts when when I got the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. uh, when I went over there to that uh, Brush Harbor, and uh, and those people was preaching the about the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and they were demonstrating it all around me. <laughs> I was afraid of them. I thought, I told Ann, I thought they were aliens. I, I, I was a country girl. I knew nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, 
Anyway, uh, I was afraid of them because they had such power on them. And they'd been fasting and praying for that for a month or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, for somebody, you know, to receive the Holy Ghost. But it was because I prayed and I said, God, show me. Okay. Show okay. me. Okay. Uh, if this Holy Ghost is real. And so he did show me. And so that's when I went over and, and received the Holy Ghost. So this woman, is that what you want me to tell? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. And okay. I, want also, I want you also to tell when you die I will. and come out of your body. I will. Because I, I believe that happened because it happened to me. Yeah. Well, about the Holy Ghost, I, I did. They, they were praying and they were over me praying, wild prayers, you know, like I am. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, uh, they just said, yield, yield, yield. And I, and I said, what do you mean you? I don't know what you mean. Well, I was mad. I was beating on the altar, and I said, what do you mean, you? I don't know what you mean. And they said, well, just yield your tongue. I thought, I don't know what that means either. And, and about that time, as they were all praying, a woman got into my ear. I've been, I've been persecuted for this, but I don't care. I ain't stopping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People that have the real goods, they're going to be persecuted. I, I couldn't care less what they think. And you still don't care. Because uh, it works for me. It works. Hallelujah. It's it works for me. It's the power of God. Woo! Shatala mahakataya. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. So anyway, this this uh, uh, young woman got in my ear and she whispers as they're all praying. And she said, just yield your tongue. Uh, Linda said, I was Baptist and I didn't know either. And uh, uh, now I ain't saying this for everybody. No. Mm -mm. I'm saying for those who are like me, or like me. <laughs> and she hungry, got in my that ear. Are, that are hungry for God. She got in my ear and she said, Linda, just yield your tongue like hallelujah, 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 or, or, or la, 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 la. And now some people say, there you are. You're, you're trying to teach them how to, how to pray. That's what they, they'll tell you. But no, once you yield your tongue, I just started speaking mm -hmm. in tongues. It wasn't just la, 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 la. Mm -hmm. La, 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 you know. Mm -hmm. But she was showing me how to give my tongue to God, but I was already there. I was already ready for the Holy Ghost. So he just took it over. Mm -hmm. He took my tongue over, see. And that's what he'll do for you, praise God. Mm -hmm. If you yield and not let nobody tell you, no, that's a devil, or, or that's not the way you yield, well, it, it works. I've had so many, many, many people that I'll pray for. They don't have to get down seek and seek and seek God. He's already given. It's a gift. You don't have to seek for nothing. If I give you a gift, you take it. You don't have to stand there, sit there, lay there and pray. You just get up and 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 yield to your your, your tongue like right now. You yield your tongue right now and you'll speak. Praise God. If you got the faith, you know what faith is? A substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So if you just yield, you'll see it. And uh, so anyway, more, I, more of God. Amen. And so I just yielded, and uh, uh, you, you can do that right now. Why don't you lead them, those that are hungry? Why don't you lead them? The baptism of the Holy Spirit is 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 pray, It's for in tongues. you. It's for you. It's, it's the now. book of Acts. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm yeah. keep speaking. And, and I thought, and gonna... well, is it for me now? Is it for us now, or 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 has it been done away with? So I opened up the Bible, and and I know nothing, and hadn't heard nobody speak in tongues at that time, and 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 I just yielded to the Lord, and 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 to what He said, and opened the Bible, and it said. Uh, in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and, and they will, they'll speak in tongues and cast out devils. I'm just going every which That's way. That's good. That's and, Joel. The, par the presence of God is on you. The Holy and, Spirit is speaking. And so uh, uh, we're in the last days, aren't we? We are in the last days. And he said, in the last days, saith God, I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. praise God, are we not flesh? We are flesh. Woo! Hallelujah. We are flesh. So anyway, people, people, they don't like you to be a little wild. But I will tell you something. Paul Be was wild. Before I was saved, I was the most bashful person that ever was. I was the youngest out of nine kids, as I said. And uh, I was very bashful. And I was always put 
you got to be quiet. You're the youngest. You sit down. You shut up and don't yeah. say nothing. So I learned to not say nothing, learn to be shy, I guess. And, but when the Holy Ghost uh, uh, upon came you, upon me, you become bold. I'm telling you, I come bold. My oh, God, I feel him right now. Praise the Lord. And he poured out his spirit. Hallelujah. He, he keeps pouring it out. Praise I was 25 when I got saved, but, but I'm going to go to back to, to what the Lord is putting on me now. I'm, I'm telling you, I just bounce around all over the place. Okay, we want to talk about the day go of ahead, Pentecost. Go ahead and read You said people don't believe today, mm -hmm. but the book of Acts, yeah. aren't we in the book of Acts? Yes, we are. Acts chapter 2. Yes. Okay. And when the day, verse 1, beloved, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in yeah. one place and in Jerusalem. And suddenly, suddenly, yeah, suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues of like a fire, and that it sat on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues Amen. as the Spirit gave them utterance. Period. Yeah. So we're in the book of Acts. So yes, you receive the Holy Spirit when you get saved, yeah. but the baptism, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the evidence of that is speaking in other tongues. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who <clears throat> believes what. This Amen. is the scripture. If we call ourselves a believer in Jesus Christ, this applies to all believers yeah. that believe that he is their Lord. Amen? Yeah. So that's 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 what yeah. happened to you. Yeah. You began to yes. pray in other tongues and yes. yield your tongue. Yes. Okay. And, and, and as I, I might have said this already, but... Uh, they told my husband, if you take her over there to that brush harbor, she's going to get the Holy Ghost as if it was some bad thing. Mm -hmm. Dear God, it set me free. The Holy Ghost set me free of all kinds of things and, and healings. And, and I, I, I had a bad heart, so, mm -hmm. so that's why I got saved, too, mm -hmm. is because of my bad heart. And I thought mm -hmm. I was going to die. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, I've got to get saved here because I know mm -hmm. I'll go to hell. Mm -hmm. And uh, yet, I prayed every night. And it's not of the devil. It's of the Holy Ghost. No, it's not. It's of the Holy Ghost. No. And tongues have not passed away today. Oh, you got to Because we're still in the book of Acts. Yeah. Has the book of Acts passed away? No. no. And all you got to do is, is feel one touch and know that it's God. If you'll just let that Holy Ghost come on you and you feel what he, he lets you feel, uh, the Holy Ghost drove me to, it, it, he drove me to get saved by his Spirit when I went to the altar. But but he also drove me over there at, about this Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. He drove me. He had put a, a conviction upon me, mm -hmm. and, and I, I was drawn to the altar. And mm -hmm. uh, and this preacher was saying, you don't have, if you don't have the Holy Ghost, get in this altar. Mm -hmm. You need the Holy Ghost. You need this power. This is more. This is this is another blessing. It's, it's a gift. Hallelujah. It's more. Do you want more? Yeah, do you? more. Do you? There's more. Just yield your tongue. <laughs> Why don't you leave them Ooh. to yield their tongue? Why don't you leave them and see and believe Christ? Praise God. We'll believe Hallelujah. God with you Hallelujah. That you're baptized in the Holy Ghost. Oh, glory Acts to chapter God. 1. Tongues of fire. Oh, and they began to speak in other tongues. Yes. Well, why don't you well, leave them? some people just don't believe it. But I, like I said, I, I believe it. The woman got in my ear and says, just do that. And I started speaking in tongues. Why don't you leave them? Go that, go so them. so if God. you want the Holy Ghost, let me tell you something. Just yield your tongue right now to him. You, believe. Just, you, you have faith and you say, Jesus, I want this Holy Ghost. I want this gift. I, I, I believe. I believe it's real. I don't think it's from the devil. Glory to God. He can't give you nothing good. Woo! That makes you feel good and sets you free and, and causes you to have enough faith to get miracles and, and everything. But anyway, you yield right now and ask him to fill you. And you just yield. Come and raise your hands. And close your eyes. And close your eyes and say, Jesus, here I am. I'm ready. And I'm going to yield my tongue to you right now. Praise God. Just yield. Just if you have to just say hallelujah, 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 but don't just keep on saying it because you can't ta talk two languages at a time. You can't ta talk uh, uh, natural, you know, like we're talking now, mm -hmm. and then supernatural. Mm -hmm. See, this Holy Ghost is supernatural. It's a supernatural thing from God, and you can't make it up. But he'll receive it because you're, you're his child. But says, you'll receive. If you ask, 
if you ask, you will receive because it is a gift. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I feel some people are, are oh, yielding. Oh, God, I thank you. They're yielding. They're yielding. They're yielding. Ooh, Lord, I do too. They're yielding. Yes, 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 you're receiving. And that is the Holy Ghost. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, my And everybody Hallelujah. speaks different. And you, it don't matter how, how uh, it might sound. Don't worry about how it sounds. Don't matter how it comes out. Just let it fly, as I say. And let it, it go. You let it go. Because that is him. Because he starts out, he, he's, he really starts out, a lot of times in little syllables, la 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 la, la. Yeah, you know. Small at beginning, yeah. But then as you more yield, yield, more you yield. Out of your spirit, more you flow, pray. flow, flow, because the Holy Spirit lives oh, in my, you. My, my, my. If you belong to Jesus, John chapter fourteen, Ooh, He shall be in you. Oh, it's a God. And the Father, Jesus Hallelujah. said, the Father and I will manifest, will come yes. and make our home oh, in my, my, you, God, yes. and He and we will oh, manifest God, ourselves to you. And when Jesus left the earth, we are his body now in the earth. Hallelujah. He said, the Holy Spirit, which comes from the Father, Ooh, will come, hallelujah. and he shall be with hallelujah. you and shall be hallelujah. in you. So yield. It will change your life. It will give you hallelujah. more power. Hallelujah. It will strengthen your body. It will strengthen your spirit. There And in Acts chapter Ooh, 1, verse God. 7, and he said unto them, they were asking, when they're in verse 6, okay? When they, they, they therefore will come together, they ask of the Lord, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times nor the seasons which the Father has put in his own power when the Lord returns. Mm -hmm. But you shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, go. both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and into the, all the uttermost parts of the earth. So, where is your Jerusalem? Where you live? Yeah. At your job? Yeah. In your area? In your neighborhood? Where you go? To the grocery store? To the dry cleaning? To the Y, whatever you do? To the exercise oh, club? Oh, yeah. To the, the church house? Talk about Jesus. You shall receive power. After yeah. then, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Yes, and you'll and then, know it. And you'll know it. Yeah. Because you'll be the righteous and bold as a line. <laughs> they you know to be bold as a line. Mm -hmm. And I want to take a moment, if, um, if I may, if you don't know the Lord, if you don't know the Lord, I'm going to give you, give yes. you an opportunity yes. to receive him. Because the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, yes, if Jesus. you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, the Lord Jesus was raised from the dead, you shall be saved. But with the mouth, man, with the heart, man believes, yes. and, unto, and the, with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Mm -hmm. And so if you would uh, uh, accept this opportunity and, and close your eyes, He'll give you a life full of purpose. He'll give you a life full of power. He'll give you the abundant life. Most of all, when you leave this earth, you will be with him in heaven. You will be with him throughout yes, eternity. Yes. And you'll never die, beloved. Yes, your body may stay in the earth, but all that day when the dead shall rise, you, that Lord. day's coming. And your spirit immediately to be absent from the body is to be present with the yes. Lord. So Amen. why don't you pray with us, Amen. beloved, and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. Yes, we've all sinned, Lord, and, and we all fall short of the glory of God. I ask that you save me. I repent of my sins. I want to live for you. I believe that you are the Son of God and you were raised from the dead. I desire to live with you in heaven throughout eternity. And Father, I ask that you give me purpose in this life Show me my destiny, and thank you. I am now saved in the name of Jesus. Washed in the blood, Washed of, Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Amen Jesus. and amen. And you Blanched know, by the blood. he takes their sin away. Thank you, Lord. And you feel that load, that heavy load, yeah, lift yeah. off of you. All your burden sin lift off of you. Heavy. It doesn't matter where you may be right now. You may be in a hotel no. room. You may be all jacked up. You may be on drugs. It doesn't you may be, matter. It, it, all that's going away. Yeah. You have a new life now, mm -hmm. and all that's forgiven. Amen. It doesn't matter Amen. what you've done. You've just told God you're sorry, and the blood of Jesus, if we confess our sins, First John 1, 9, we, we, we confess our sins. He, Jesus, is faithful yes, and just to is. forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness, and we welcome you into the family of God. 
and I bless you. Find a spirit-filled church. Amen. Get yourself a Bible. Look in the phone book. Look on your smartphone. Look on your tablet. Look on your computer. Christian bookstore and get you a Bible. And when you go there, ask them where there's a good church that's preaching the word. Yeah. And go every Sunday. And go every time the doors are open. And bring you a pad and pencil, beloved. And take you some notes. And praise God. I rejoice with you. The Bible says that one sinner is saved. One sinner gets saved. The mm -hmm. angels in heaven are rejoicing. So that's exciting today. And what I did, when, when, when I heard about the Holy Ghost, uh, after I'd read it, mm -hmm. I opened up. The Lord let me open up right here to the book of Acts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The book of Acts. Mm -hmm. So, every time it would say Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. I would I would underline it. Everything that re read about it, mm -hmm. and, and until I, I, I taught myself mm -hmm. uh, because I still going to the Baptist church, and, and mm -hmm. as I was praying there, it before I went over there, I was praying for the, the Holy Ghost and. Uh, and the preacher on the other side of the altar asked, as me and my husband was praying there together, other people probably. But anyway, uh, he said, on the other side, he interrupted me from praying and said, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? And my husband answered for me, said, she's, she's wanting the Holy Ghost, she's wanting to get this gift and she's wanting closer to God. He didn't even have the Holy Ghost when he said that. And, uh, but he answered for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, well, you're going to have to go somewhere else because we don't believe in speaking in tongues. And uh, I just kind of quit praying. I thought, okay. So I went over there and they explained it all and I did receive. And, uh, and Doyle was baptized in the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, after that. Okay. In fact, before I got saved, the Lord said to me, if you will get saved, and you tell your husband, Doyle, mm -hmm. about me. Mm -hmm. Doyle is the way you're supposed to say it, but I'm from the country. Country girl. Doyle. She sure is. Doyle said, it. <laughs> uh, he says, well, let me think. If that's where God's leading you. Uh, when he got baptized in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I I, I I don't remember exactly now, well, but, we're, well, but, we're supposed to but he's, he, he, I think the Lord's wanting to go on uh, anyway. Go a different way, that's right. Well, her husband, her husband that's in heaven, he got baptized in the Holy Spirit, and I'm telling you what a man of God he was, oh my full of the fire of God, miracles, signs, yeah. and wonders followed yeah. the ministry. Yeah. And now I'd like you yeah, to Yeah, my speak husband about was a moonshiner when he got saved. He had stills, and uh, he drunk it. And, and, and in the south, he was hiding the stills. Yeah. He was selling the moonshine, which yeah. is alcohol. Yeah. That's, uh, that's uh, proof. alcohol. <laughs> and he thing. was making a lot of money. And God got a hold of him and mm -hmm. saved him and forgave him, beloved. Yeah. And yeah. I would like you to tell when you died. Okay. Which time? Was, how many times? How many times? Only you, once. Okay. Thank time. God. <laughs> let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about huh? that. And we're okay. going to talk about First Corinthians chapter okay. twelve, the working of miracles. And you, okay. you got a miracle, didn't you? Okay. Okay. Uh, well, we have uh, we have my, some time yet. It was after my son was born <clears throat> that uh, that I actually died, but I bled to death. And uh, they were working on me, and I was telling my husband, mm -hmm. "I'm dying," because I knew I was dying, but I didn't realize I was bleeding to death. It's the easiest way to die there, no pain whatsoever. And so my uh, son was born, and. And so, anyway, uh, uh, then I, I died. And so, they, were, as I said, they were working on me, trying to get the blood stopped, and it didn't. And, and so, uh, I died. So, then, uh, I, it was like a magnet. It was, my breath was pulled out of me, just like you would literally take a magnet, and you could feel, feel my breath came out of me. It was pulled three times out, and then I was gone. And I went straight through the bed. I floated. It was like you float through the bed. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm knocking the camera. Okay. And and it went through the bed, and uh, through the through the concrete floor in California at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so I went through the floor, through the ground. You left your body. And into hell, mm -hmm. in the tunnel. In mm -hmm. but anyway, uh, it was just terrible. I mean, I, I was terrified. Mm -hmm. Terror. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. and, and you never never lose conscience. 
you just it's just like you take a step and there you are and you still you come out you, of your you, body you, you but you're alive your spirit's you alive you never lose conscience of you either what, go up or on. down when you leave this earth yeah and i was going down 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 and i was still being pulled like a magnet i had no control over over anything mm -hmm. and i thought oh god no this is not what i i thought it's not what i planned yeah. cause i gonna tell you something listen up people yeah. i prayed every night <clears throat> Oh, God, forgive me for all my sins. Oh, Lord, forgive me. You know, and I pray my little prayer, but it was not from my heart. It was a fearful prayer that I died in my sleep because of my heart. So anyway, anyway, I would just pray that. Uh, so I thought I would be saved, but God showed me mm -hmm. that little prayer, getting up sinning like the devil the next day ain't going to work. That's right. I mean, I had to go through that to find that out. <clears throat> Something you don't want to do. So where'd you go when you left your body? You went down, down, down. Yeah, and and I was literally away from, I was out of that world up there, and I was in hell. And uh, Tell me what happened. so God, okay, next thing happened after I said, I don't want to, uh, that's not what I wanted, God. Mm -hmm. I was terrified. Oh, my God, you can't even imagine the terror. You can't. No, she was in hell. Yeah. And the Bible talks about hell in great oh, lengths. Yes, yes, yes. If you yes. do a study on hell in Hades, y'all, and, and talks <sighs> about in the book of Luke, and it's hot in hell. It's hotter than Florida. I believed in it, but, but I didn't want to go there, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, all of a sudden... And my mama was praying for me. She was a great mm -hmm. Baptist woman that prayed, mm -hmm. had faith, got the Holy Ghost. So mm -hmm. after I did, when she's 75. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I, I appeared back. And there I was up there looking down. It, it was my spirit looking down mm -hmm. at my dead body on that bed. Mm -hmm. And then I saw my soul in hell mm -hmm. and and all of a sudden god had great mercy on me and he brought me back he came oh back, god he came, he came back he brought me mind. back mm -hmm. and uh mm -hmm. and so I, I i looked around for all them people that were working on me mm -hmm. and uh they they i saw a doctor like way down down there in that room uh and, and he was writing out something, and I suppose it was my death certificate mm -hmm. because he was writing it out. Nobody was there, mm -hmm. and but but they were. And then I looked over, and there was a nurse, and she recognized me, and out she went flying. Mm -hmm. So I there was left alone, and uh, and God, I bled totally to death. So what happened when God brought me back? He gave me a miracle of of. Uh, 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 blood transfusion mm -hmm. with his blood <laughs> well, human blood but his blood My went through her God. body and gave her life he, he, brought you back to life and quickened yeah. your mortal body but see, and brought you there back was to no life. blood in my body mm -hmm. and here I am and I'm fine mm -hmm. and so anyway uh, that's that's a little bit of what happened so and you flew you what happened I just come back to myself mm -hmm. he, he, Jesus just Put the spirit back in my body, and I'm breathing, and I'm and I am brought back from the dead. Oh, breath, breath, hallelujah! And uh, I was dead. Miracles. I was dead. I don't care who says I was dead. You go to hell and you find out if you're dead or not. If you're in hell, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. I wasn't saved then, but I want you to know when by I come mercy. back by His mercy and only through His grace and mercy. But but when I come back, I did get saved, and. Uh, and God and, knows. Who's and there, God, he knows who's going to serve him, and he knows yeah. who's, who isn't. Yeah. yeah. And and my mama had prayed for me, dedicated me to the Lord. and That's it. Everything. Mamas, dedicate your babies to the Lord. Oh, Lord, yes. By all means. Dedicate your babies to the Lord. You say, well, I, I have to get a preacher. You don't need a preacher to dedicate your babies to the Lord. You can put your hands on your baby's head and say, Lord, I lift up my baby to you. Mm -hmm. Say, this is your baby. I lift up my baby to you. Oh, yes. I lift up Sally. I lift up Susie. I lift up She's Shakia. Yours, I lift up I lift up Debbie, Ann, Stephen, Mark, Robert, Raymond, 
Father, I lift up my baby to you. All the days yeah. of their life, they will serve you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I dedicate them to the Lord. Yes, yes, you can bring them to the preacher and have a little ceremony. That would be a beautiful thing yeah. publicly. But you don't have to do that, beloved, right. because you have, the, you have the authority over your children. Okay? Yes, you can go to church and have your pastor. That would be delightful. You know, or your apostle, or yes. your evangelist, or your order, or the prophet in the body of Christ, or the teacher. Yes, of course, but you, they don't need to do that. And if you do that, God's hand will be on them all the days of their life. And if yes. your children are wayward, believe God to bring your children back, beloved. All your children shall be toward the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. And your mama knew that. Yes, and I'll contend did. with those that contend with you. All your adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and yes. I will give safety to your yes. children. And your mama knew that. Yeah. Your mama, your mama had nine children, and she didn't let one of them go. And she, she was back in Tennessee praying for me, and I was in Florida. I mean, not Florida. We moved her later. But anyway. Uh, so even if your children leave you, beloved, okay. even if they leave you, your prayers will still cover them. Yeah. And even if you leave this earth and you don't see the manifestation of it, you will you will see them in heaven because yes. all your children shall be taught of the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. If you need a financial miracle, believe the Holy Spirit for a financial miracle. Himself, Jesus, took your infirmities and bore your sickness and by his stripes you are healed. If you need a healing, believe God. Believe God to heal your yes, body. Yes. If you need if you need money, believe God yes. to meet your needs. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.19. If you need friends, friend love it, loves at all times. And a brother is born yes. for adversity. Proverbs 17.17. 17. Listen, be a friend. And God will give you friends, beloved of God. Be a lover. You need mm -hmm. love. Love people. Go to the church house. You need a hug. Start hugging yeah. people. Hug women. Women hug women. Yeah. Okay? Women hug women and show love. Listen to someone yeah. speak. Listen to their heart. We always don't have to be talking all the time. Listen to their heart. Mm -hmm. People want people have things to say other than us. Amen. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. I talked to a lady today in church and that precious woman, she talked for forty five minutes straight and I just listened to mm -hmm. that heart. And I just hugged her. And when she was said, oh, I just talked. I said, I love to hear you talk, darling. Because it's not about us. No. It's about other people. It's about Jesus. Yeah. He's the heart of the matter. He's the center of the yes, matter. You are. People just want people to listen to them. Yeah. People just need, uh, you know, someone to love them. And this ministry, the reason why you watch this ministry, Shoshana Rose Radio Program, is because we love you here. I love yes, you more yes, and more. Yes, yes, I'm yes. not going to judge you. I'm not going to tell you this, that, the other, other than the word of God. Yes, I'm going to help you grow. I'm going to love you into a better relationship with the Lord. And that's what the book is about. It will draw you into more intimacy with God. And you will learn that the word of God is true. Yeah. And you will learn that, that no matter what goes on, God is with you. For he said, I'll never leave you nor never. forsake you. I'll never disappoint you. I'll never relax my hold on you. The Bible's clear. Now, thanks be unto God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you are a victory person. You are not a victim. It doesn't matter. The lion is down. 2018 is the year of the open yes. door and the year of the manifestation. God spoke to me. Manifestation, and I'm opening doors, and I'm opening mm -hmm. doors, and I prophesy that to you. Yeah. God's opening doors oh, for you. Yes. If people are trying to put you down and hold you down, God said, I loose you. In the name of Jesus. And doors are opening for you to preach that word of God and to Whatever. preach the true word of God and to and to help people and to be a missionary and to be a servant of God. Whatever in the word of God. Whatever. Whatever. Mm -hmm. And so we're, com we're coming up to the close of the program. We have about 14 minutes uh, left. Do you have yeah. something else that you yeah. want to talk about? Yeah. Uh, the reason I got saved too was because I knew I was going to die. And I hadn't got saved yet, mm -hmm. even after, uh, you know, my baby was yeah, born there. Yeah, our audience, uh, uh, yeah. So I, I, I would have those real bad heart spells. So I knew I was going to die, or at least I thought it was. Yeah. And uh, You're paying attention? She's talking to you? Beloved. So anyway, I, I went and got saved just because, and I didn't have to went or go nowhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All I could do was just pray wherever I was at, but I thought, no, you got to be in a church. This is how stupid, I might as well say it, how stupid I was. 
I thought I gotta be in this Baptist church where my mama was, where she goes back in them days, and, and, and they and they get you and say, would you like to go to the altar, sweetheart? And and, and and I thought I had to do that. But that ain't the way it happened at all. I just got saved uh, when I went over to the church and they were having a radio broadcast mm -hmm. and it was preaching and singing. Mm -hmm. And I sang, so uh, it, I, I didn't hear a word the preacher said, but mm -hmm. I sure loved that singing. Mm -hmm. And so that's what caught made me go and get saved but you don't have to go to, uh, to the altar but 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 it's awful good to go because that's where he says bring your burdens in, into the house there of the you lord go. but you can get saved anywhere yeah, that's right. but anyway all right okay i am when i got uh uh went off that uh brush harbor well the enemy came on me and made me so sick with my heart the uh, devil makes you sick not god yeah not and God. So, God yeah, doesn't make yeah, people the sick. The devil uh, stopped, tried to stop me from ever going back and kill me. That's what he tried. But anyway, I was burning up with fever. My heart was awful. And I had tonsillitis, strip, strip throat. And uh, and uh, so anyway, I couldn't even get out of bed. I couldn't. I hadn't ate in three days or drunk any water or, or nothing. I was too sick. And my brother that wasn't a Christian... He said, I'm going to go there, and I'm, here's what he said, I'm going to go there and get them Holy Ghost people to come over here and pray for you. <laughs> and he said, you want to have them pray for you here or, or, or uh, in the bed, or you want to get up? I said, okay, I'll go in there on the couch. And he went and got those same people out of that brush harbor. They came over, my God, they prayed for me. And I'm telling you what, my Long fever, time my fever broke praying. instantly. Praise the Lord. Uh, my heart, uh, it was like, a, I call it like a coal of fire went around my heart three times. I thought if it was any hotter, I w it would burn. Mm -hmm. It was felt so good, though. Mm -hmm. And uh, and, and, and my, my fever, yeah, and my tonsillitis, my tonsils both. Uh, I just showed my brother how, how my tonsils were swelled up and I couldn't eat. Mm -hmm. They went down like that. Dr. Jesus, and the great physician. He done all this stuff instantly for me. Working in miracles, gifts of healing. But I did not know God healed at that time. Mm -hmm. I really didn't. Tell our I, audience. I didn't. So so I just said, uh, uh, I, I thought, I didn't think nothing. I just thought, well, I feel better when they prayed for me. Mm -hmm. So I went to church with them that Wednesday night at a real church, mm -hmm. instead of Brush Harbor. And uh, <clears throat> a church building. Yeah, a physical a big structure. church. We are the church of God at that time, but, but a structured church. Yeah, and uh, and and this woman got up and she said, "You know, God healed me this week, and it was like a coal of fire went around through my body, and I was instantly healed." And so uh, I thought, "Oh my God!" I'm thinking there, thinking in that church. That's what happened to me. I got healed. I know it. I already had you didn't, you didn't I, know. I, I hadn't accepted it, but I was healed though. Well, she didn't know any healing scriptures. Uh -uh. She didn't know believe Nothing. and receive. Nothing. She didn't know, uh, no. you know, standing on the word. She didn't know. That was a Nothing. complete sovereign move of God. And yeah. God can do that too as yeah. well. If you don't know scripture, <laughs> if you knew or believe I didn't know that. But God will heal you, beloved. I pray in Jesus' name that God healed, that God, as God healed her, he would heal you of whatever yes. ails you. Yes. For Jesus is the great physician. You may have cancer. You may have uh, heart problems. You may have diabetes. You may have cholesterol issues, high blood pressure uh, issues. Uh, you uh, may be crippled. Uh, you may be uh, in the hospital and they're pumping blood into ooh. you. You may Whatever it is. He you may have a speech you a miracle. He can give you a miracle. Right now. Right now in Lord the name of Jesus. And we pray. For a miracle, why don't you pray for a miracle for our for our viewers? Have I got time to tell about my, my miracle? Well, we have about ten minutes. Um, <clears throat> okay, let me tell yeah, them. Sure, sure. This, why, why this, you, this year, in uh, uh, well, last year, December seventeen, yeah. uh, in in uh, uh, December, as I said, last year, last year. Yeah, this is February two thousand eighteen. The uh, uh, Well, anyway, I had an operation, but before. Uh, uh, I went to the doctor and had a uh, an operation. Uh, no, it, they told me that I needed to have right. an operation. They had found a mass in, in my breast, and right. I needed to have exploratory. It. Uh, yeah, and so well, I started praying, and I started saying, "No, 
I, I curse this uh, mass. I curse it at the root. I said, I curse you at the root. You cannot live in my body. And we prayed. Glory to And everybody says, my daughter is always telling and me, Mama, you look mad. And we, and we I said, prayed. I am mad. I'm mad at the devil. Glory to God, I ain't mad at nobody. <laughs> and we pray. I'm mad at the devil. And God had given you <laughs> important. God had given you God had given her a dream about that mess. Uh -huh. before, the idea. And he and and she heard the doctor say something negative about it. He and said, she didn't know he she said had you have cancer. And she didn't know. But the Holy Spirit exposed the works of hell. So she went to the doctor and she got checked. And there it was. Yeah. And let's but but let that. me tell you. I, I, I'm going to mention somebody's name on here. Somebody might know him. Uh, Moore Cirillo wrote me a letter. I do not know Moore Cirillo. I don't know him. I've never met him. But he, but he uh, had wrote, wrote, he wrote me a letter. And he gave me a prophecy and said, you have a disease that, that this is before I knew any of that other I just said. And he said, you have a disease but said, this disease, this thing, he didn't want to scare me, but he said, this will not kill you. So that gave me a lot of faith. And, plus, we, and plus we prayed. everybody was praying. And we prayed. Yeah, and everybody we was praying. And, and I was claiming I was cursing it. I was saying, you got to die. You can't live in my body. So anyway, they went in there, and uh, they said it was so small that they couldn't hardly get it. And it was we, cancer. Yeah. And Murray Ellen Loker Clinic in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and... Uh, 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 is where I had this done. And you got healed. Yeah, and, and God healed me. And uh, that that's just... That tell, it, about, tell him <laughs> we have about three more minutes. Tell him about the osteoporosis. The gifts of healing. First Corinthians chapter 12. For the power gifts is the, um, yeah, awesome. the working of miracles, okay? The gifts of healing and the gift of faith, okay? That those are the power gifts. Those yeah. are those are the healing gifts for today. Healing has not passed away. <laughs> Acts ten thirty eight have no. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Yeah. Who went about doing good and all who are Ooh, and God, healing I feel and healing power. all who are pressed to the ah, devil for God was with him. That healing has no, not no, no, left. No, 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 no. That healing power. Heal the Bible says wherever Jesus was, the power no, was present to heal. So talk about. Two minutes, if you would, please, because the program's about to uh, run out of time for our, uh, this session, okay? I know you want more. Keep watching. I have wonderful, well, as well, anointed men and women of God that God sends to bless you on Shoshana Rose Radio Program. Tell about osteoporosis, how you just well, got healed to that. Well, yeah. Uh, actually, I forgot to tell even you this. Uh, there was it's a woman okay. on TV, and she said, you're healed of osteoporosis. And I said, I received that. And so it was a little bit uh, uh, after that 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 uh, I went to the doctor for a bone density test, and and they said, and I said, so how's the osteoporosis? And he said, everything's normal. He told me the levels. I don't know what I, what it meant. We prayed. But anyway, he said, it's, you don't have any. Hallelujah! You ain't got no osteoporosis. Yeah, yeah, you're you you're 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 you're, you're healed. Yeah, you did tell me because we prayed about yeah, yeah. back to back from the cancer to the osteoporosis. Okay. She received two miracles. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And God will give you a miracle, beloved of God. Praise God. We have one or two minutes if you would lead them to receive their miracle. I'd appreciate that. Just to receive. It's already been well, paid for. The well, price has been paid. What, what gives me faith is, is when God says uh, we can ask anything in his name. If we don't doubt and if we believe. We can have whatsoever we say. Mm -hmm. So I say that that to myself, I would say, and you say, yeah. I curse it at the root. Not cuss it, somebody said. Yeah. No, that ain't, don't mean that. Curse it like the fig tree. Yeah, like the in, fig tree. That's the way book, God showed in, in me. In the book of Mark. And, and, and I said, I curse you at the root, and, and you have to wither and die. Can't so that's what mind. you say to whatever the, the situation is, whatever. You say, you can't live in my body. You have to get out of my body, you, you demon name. forces of hell. I, I am God's child, and, and he's already bought and paid for it, and he's already suffered my my pain, my sickness, my sorrow, my diseases, no matter what it is. And bless the and, Lord. And, and I want to say this. If you have if you have aborted a baby and you're a Christian, or, or if you just lost a baby, uh, 
you, you, you named that baby in heaven because it's in heaven That's wanting true. a name from you. Waiting for you. Waiting for you to name, name. If it's a boy or girl, you don't know, name. Say, okay, Lord, if it's a boy, I name it this. If it's a girl, I name it that. And but, and then they'll Praise be proud the of you because they already Thank know you. you they already Lord. see you. Thank you, Lord. Here on this earth. Bless the Lord. Who the fuck? I am a sacrifice. So heal all these people that's watching. Thank you, Praise Lord. God. Thank you, and, Lord. And lift them up. In Thank, your Thank name. you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And save them, most of all. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, all my Hula soul, basakata. and all that is within me. Psalm 103. <laughs> Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all thine iniquities, no matter what you've oh, done, beloved. God. If you ask him to forgive, you it's under the blood he remembers it no more and bless the Lord all my soul who forgives all thy iniquities and heals all thy diseases I stand in agreement with you this is Ann Finkelman Shoshana Rose Radio Ratcliffe. Program Linda I'm Linda Ratcliffe a little fireball from the hills of Tennessee and if you want you could find her um on Facebook I'm very they tamed find, down today they, I'm yeah, having to sit yeah. here and I mean calm. she's tamed down can you imagine and you can you can reach her through me, Ann Finkelman, Shoshana Ministries oh, International. Oh, I love you guys. I love you. And they can find you on Facebook, Linda Linda Joe. No, Linda, I, what's, not, what's your yeah, Facebook I, name? I, 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 I got another. I got her, another. Her new page is Linda Ratcliffe, and she pray for but you. I, I don't have it all up yet, so it's coming up. We but, love you more and more. And you we're just about we're just about out of time. Thank you, darling, for being thank you, on. Thank and you. So, you so, she's thank so you. sweet. Thank you for We're going to have to do this again. She has so much to offer, so much wisdom of God. I love you more and more and more. Keep watching. Let me know you're out there. Ann Finkelman, Shoshana Rose Radio Program. We love Jesus with all our heart. Linda Ratcliffe, woman of God. And I love you more and more. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.